what we have here is what's called a West Odds detachable and adjustable 10.5 HD IPS large screen single den car stereo blah 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 okay so what we have here is a float mount 10 inch Android Auto uh, Apple CarPlay head unit um, I saw this on a video by Provo Beast um, he didn't have a very detailed video. He showed it powered up. He showed some functionality, bench test, but he never showed it installed. Um, so I want to take this opportunity to show it after the install and operational and everything. One of the things I did note in his video is, and, and we'll test this when I get in the truck, is that the touch was a little unresponsive or slow to respond. I'm not terribly concerned about that. This is going in our third vehicle it's not our daily driver it's our long trip vehicle um, it's a 2007 uh, eddie bauer expedition so i'm not terribly concerned with screen performance as long as it plays music it does all the other features the the main reason that i went ahead and opted for this uh pretty much as soon as i saw the video uh physical volume button with the power in it and this feels really nice um, it's not it doesn't feel cheesy um, the other reason is i wanted a large float mount so this not only has the tilt up and down and the side to side but you can also adjust the height which is something i didn't really see in provo beast video so shout out to him i bought it because of him i bought it through his affiliate and what i'm going to do is share his video and encourage you that if you want to buy it to buy it through his affiliate because i wouldn't have found this if it wasn't for his video um it's a single den unit comes with your standard chassis oh one of the other features that i bought this for is it has a multi-channel built-in dsp digital signal processor not something you generally see in these units um and let's talk about price one more time right now it's listed at 219 which is what it was listed at when I bought it, but there's a $30 off coupon. So I got mine for 185 The next week, like three days later, it went on sale for 175 So it looks like it teeters around that 175 to 185 price range. So for under $200, large display, multi-position, DSP, backup camera, all the bells and whistles, I'd say that's a pretty good deal. This video is just to do the review kind of go over what the device is how it will be installed i'm going to do another video where i actually show the installation process and all of that so this first video is just review if you want to see the installation process going into a ford expedition then go ahead and flip over to that other video at any point um, so at this point i'm going to break this video and i'm going to start the install process and then we'll come back after it's installed and I'll go over how it works, how it sets up. install went really well. Um, the pack harness is a pack harness. It had a little bit of confusion, some things weren't really made clear, um, but I was able to work through it and we got everything working, including the steering wheel controls. Um, this worked fantastic with the steering wheel controls. You go into the Teach 
uh, application, you select the one you want, and then you hold that one and hold the button on the steering wheel, and it learns it. It was uh, really easy. Um, as far as getting everything mounted up and installed, it went great. Um, and I have to say that I'm pretty impressed with the audio coming out of this thing. Um, the other issue that I noticed in Provo Beast video was the slow screen response. I don't notice that here. Um, this seems to work really well. Everything comes up really nice and fast. I'm really impressed by it. Backup camera works. I do have, I did have to get a six foot in extension just because this truck is so big. This is an EL. So if we go to the home, we can go to the EQ. We've got some royalty free music playing. I haven't really done much here yet. sure about the base. I uh, I tried something today while I had everything apart and I put in a CT Sounds Bio 8 that I had laying around. I'm not sure if that's the right fit for this truck so I may have to go back to the factory because I think the factory sub hit a lot harder. So, well that's been my review on this. I think the thing's worth every penny. Um, now there have been some comments I read on the Amazon page uh, saying the screen quit after a couple of weeks. So I'm going to have to watch that and see what happens. Um, but other than that, I'm really happy with the performance of this thing. Um, and I love the size of it. So it's got my recommendation at this point. Thanks for watching, everybody.